Hey everyone, and welcome back to Miss Azrael's Gaming. So we're going to jump back into Argus because the newest chapter has just come out. So we're has just come out. So we're in chapter two. And if you remember from the last one, it left us on a cliffhanger where uh, Danu Danu. I mean, I've heard the name pronounced a couple different ways. So we're just going to call him Dan. Decided he was going to summon Argus through the um, the way the legend tells, where you have to like. You go to your computer screen and you uh, get on the dark web and a certain website and you have to remain, you know, keep eye contact with Argus the whole time and stuff like that. Uh, and then the lights went out and it seemed as if he had been attacked. So we're going to go ahead and start the next chapter. So it says Argus Chapter 2. So welcome to Episode 2 of Argus Urban Legends. Luis is dead. Caro and Ben can no longer be uh, contained or contacted. Contained. Yeah, they can't be contained. Contacted. And Dano is trying to conjure up Argus. It's a mess. It's a serial killer. Is a serial killer behind the murders or is the legend about Argus an eye-devouring creature true? We wish you thrilling entertainment with Episode 2. Welcome to this special edition oh, of yes, Behind the Legends. Behind this the Legends. Documentation Turn up just a little bit. Happened to me. But this isn't just my story. It's yours too. Yes, I mean you. Okay, so Argus Urban Legend. Three years ago, several young women oh. Excellent, paused it. were killed in the most brutal way. These murders had one thing in common. Each of the victims had one eye removed and an X burned into their empty cavity. The last victim was a student named Sarah Stiller. While the police searched for a serial killer, an urban legend developed in the internet community, Argus, an eye-devouring monster. Whether murderer or creature, why did the killing stop after Sarah? Peace was restored in the community until suddenly, three years later, you received a cry for help from Sarah's profile on the dating app Love Radar. That was the moment you became part of the Cinemombies. Shortly afterwards, the body of another young woman was found, Mary Kempf. And from then on, everything happened in quick succession. The Cinemombies investigated in different directions. Lily and Alicia questioned Mary's sister, Juna. Danu disguised himself as a detective and obtained important information from pathologist Dr. Bennett. And that's how our paths crossed. The group came across Lewis, a shady guy who Sarah was dating before she died. The new prime suspect. So, Caro and Ben went to his house. There they found Lewis but not as they had hoped. He was murdered. However, there was no time to agree on the next step because contact with Carol and Ben broke off. And then Deneau took fate into his own hands. He wanted to prove to you that Argus didn't exist. Was this a wise decision? I would say not. <laughs> At least it didn't sound like it. Did not sound like it. Okay, so got a thing in chat. I did like the little recap. That was really cool. Okay, so damn it, Danu, don't do that again. That was the ending of it. So, uh, did you see that? What the hell? No, no, what happened? Are you okay? Please say something. Alicia and Lily are in love with uh, Danu, so they're going to be really, really upset about this. Um, He's offline. Oh god, that was Argus. What is this all about? What are we going to do now? I mean, uh, people, that was Argus. I don't know what we saw in the video call, but Danu is definitely in danger. Caro and Ben are also still offline. We can only help them if we keep calm. 
Has anyone tried to reach them again? Not yet. Okay, so I'll call Caro. I'll call Ben. I'll call uh, Don, uh, Denu. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, Caro. We're going to call mm. her. Because I'm not talking to Dan. Thank you, Azriel. I'll try Ben and Denu. Here's Caro's number. 141414. Oh, that's easy to remember. Probably just gonna go to hang up or go to voicemail. Hey, this is Caro. You've dialed the right number for a long time. <laughs> Sorry, I'll get in touch with you later. You can leave a message after the beat. Was there? Yeah, growling. Ah, uh, yeah, that's what I thought I heard. I definitely heard growling. Not looking good for Ben and Caro. Or Caro. Caro. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, so damn, I can't reach her and there was a growl. Mm. What a bummer. The same with the other two. Is it a bummer though? I feel like it'd be a little more, uh, more like more of an emergency than a bummer, but... Okay, so we can't afford to wait. Alicia and I are going to Danu's place now. Then I'll head to oh. Lewis's place. Caro and Ben are probably still there. I hope we won't be too late. So Caro's online and Ben's online. Ben's calling. Hopefully they're okay. Guys, we're, uh, we're fine. Something was hiding in Lewis's apartment, but it's gone now. Man, I was really panicking. There was something in there. And if it's with Danu... <laughs> Okay, so the police have shown up. Thank God you're okay. Okay, hopefully the police will find out what happened to Lewis, and then we need to focus on Dan and now. What a relief. I mean, you know, somebody mm. needs to check on Dan. Yes, but Caro and Ben, please take care of yourselves, okay? We will, thanks. Okay, so they're both offline. Say nothing, what now? Uh, Lily and Alicia, how long will it take you to get to Danu? Mm. The way Lily is speeding, just a few minutes. <laughs> so, oh, Danu's online. He's probably going to be like, ah, oh, my power just went out. Danu, finally. Are you okay? You know, I really don't want to answer this. Because it's weird that he came online and didn't say anything and now he's calling. So, but let's go ahead. Oh, he's running. Shit, shit. Yeah, you're not, you're not going to get away from Argus, I have a feeling. He's definitely being chased. Okay, so he went offline. Oh, shit. Danu, hang in there. We'll be with you in a few minutes. Okay, so we've got an audio message from Enrico. I don't even know what to say. What's going on here? How can we explain all this logically? Um, you you kind of can. I'm just gonna say it's it's not it's past the realm of logic. I mean, Franco was correct. This is obviously Argus. I'm just saying. I mean, a lot of people think she's sus, but I think she knows what she's talking about. Um, I don't know what to believe anymore. I know there are uh, inexplicable things going on, but there has to be a logical explanation. Um, yeah, I mean, I know. There's a lot mm -hmm. of uh, inexplicable things going on. I know I'm really scared, Azrael. The creature on Danu's computer, the creepy whisper, and all the other things that have happened to us. Damn, 
if something happens to Danu, he'll be fine. Enrico, I'm worried about him too. Let's not give up hope. Yeah, I mean, let's not give up mm -hmm. hope. We know he's still alive. He's running, but he's still alive. I know, you're right. Okay, so Danu's back online. I'm assuming we're supposed to go over there. Lily, Alicia, don't come to my place. Why not? We'll be there in three minutes. Danny, where are you? What was that before? It's way too dangerous. There was something in my apartment. It was huge. So fast. Okay, so uh, scared face. Uh, do you know who or what was following you? Slow down. What exactly happened? I mean, do you know who or what? Not exactly, but it was massive. It followed me down the stairs, freaking hell. I could feel its breath on my neck. It says in my neck, but it should be on my neck. Um, I thought that was it. Okay, so Lily is online. But then I managed to escape through a side door. It sounds terrible. We pulled over. Where's that thing now, Danu? No idea. I ran as fast as I could. Sitting in a bar now. I wanted to be around people to feel safe. Okay. Nice looking bar. Very good. You'll probably be safe in a group. Say nothing. Hopefully it won't show up there. Otherwise you'll be trapped. Okay, I don't want to... As much as I dislike Dan, I don't want to be that person. So we're just going to say, okay, good. You know, maybe maybe you're going to be safe. Like We got a little improvement with him. That's what I was thinking. I mean, I don't think it's going to do any good, but... Which bar are you in? We'll come to you. I'm sorry. I'm still a complete mess. I don't want to talk to anyone now. Besides, the thing might still be out there. We can't leave you alone. I'm not alone. There are many other guests here. And I would never forgive myself if something happened to you. Oh, that's actually very sweet of him. I'm not comfortable with it. But we'll turn around. Okay, so Lily went offline. So did Alicia. Although you think she would stay. Ew. No. Why? Why? I hate spiders. You. Ugh. Does Argus deal with spiders? Because that. Ugh. No. Uh, did you see that? OMG. What was that? Hmm. What happened, Azrael? A spider just crawled across my display. Mm. Give me a huge fright. Luckily, I'm not afraid of the critters. I mean, it didn't give me a massive fright, but I'm, I I can't say I'm not afraid of them, so I'll just... Mm. It, just it grossed me out more than scared me. <laughs> Guys, we can no longer deny it. All these things that happen, Lewis's death, the thing Danu saw, okay, so Caro's online. I guess we have to accept that Argus could be real. Ben's online. I swore I would never believe in anything like monsters or supernatural beings, but the creature that chased me, it wasn't human. Perhaps someone wants us to believe just that. Well, they're going through, like, through a lot to make us believe in something that's not real if it's not. You mean someone just dressed up as Argus? Betty, I'm a makeup artist. I know that just about anything is possible. 
I felt it, though, an evil presence, as if thousands of eyes were watching us. I refuse to believe that Argus is real. Where are you two now? I mean, so did, so did Dan. And, you know, look what happened to him. So I hope that doesn't happen to Betty, too. Because it feels like he almost goes after the non-believers first. Okay, so Ben took me home. I locked myself in the bathroom. I'm almost home. Okay, so good if you feel safe in the bathroom, Caro. Uh, thanks for bringing Caro home, Ben. You should have stayed together. I mean, honestly, you you guys should have stayed together. Okay, so a file is now ready to repair. Okay, so we're going to repair it now for 80 bicks. I'm going to go ahead and do that because it's kind of been a little short episode so far because normally I end at the mini games. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to repair it because I do have a flat rate. And we're going to see what we got out of that. So it looks like it might be another video from Sarah. Very dark one. That must have been when Argus came after her. It's definitely uh, hard to uh, hear what she was saying. It's funny we repaired it, but uh, not enough to be able to understand what was going on. Okay, so I was able to restore another file from Sarah's profile. Okay, so Alicia's now online. We've sent them the picture. Unfortunately, the video is still damaged. <clears throat> okay. Just wait for the response. It's annoying we can't understand what she's saying. It could have been important clues. Don't you understand what we saw there? These are probably Sarah's last moments before she was killed. You mean she filmed her own death? Oh no, how awful. And that growl was in the background again. We could have fought a serial killer. But we can't fight an eye-devouring monster. Okay, we have to try to restore the whole video. I agree we don't have a chance. Whether it's a monster or human, we have to stop them. Uh, I mean, I agree with that one as well as restoring the whole video. Um, but I'm going to say we have to restore the whole video because I'm curious what she was saying. There was something she was saying there. So I'm curious what she was talking about before she was attacked. Uh, the file may still be restored in the background. Even if I think the chances are rather slim, we shouldn't tinker with it just yet. How does watching the whole video help us at all? We can't prevent Argus from hunting us down. Damn, I don't understand your sudden change of mind. Argus doesn't exist. Message was deleted. Eh, not fast enough, Betty. I still read it. I think we all need a break to clear our heads. And to process the events of the last few hours. Then we can plan the next steps. Good idea. I'm also still pretty exhausted. I'll have another gin and tonic first. I'll stay here until the bar closes. Okay, so Dano's offline. Ben's offline. Caro and Betty are offline. Okay, so Lily's going to message us. Hi, Azrael. Okay, so we're in the Gossip Sisters, so it wasn't like a private one. Uh, Alicia and I need to talk to you. That sounds serious at your service. I thought everyone should take a break. Okay, so that sounds serious. Mm. Don't worry, nothing happened, but it's important. I'm sure this is totally unexpected. But I don't think Argus killed Lewis. And I don't think it's Argus that's hunting us. What makes you think that? Who or what else could it be? 
you've been trying to convince us of Argus for hours. Yeah, I'm going to answer that. Like, you've been on the Argus thing for hours, and now you're going to say it's not Argus? I know, but... I mean, there's no way there's somebody just dressing up as Argus. I'll call. It's quicker. Okay? Well, guys, I still think Argus exists. However, before Lewis died, someone rang his doorbell, and I hardly think Argus would do that. Plus, he didn't fit the pattern at all. Neither of his eyes were removed. Mm -hmm. Oh, and suddenly Argus shows himself to Donu on the street and lies in wait for Caro and Ben, but doesn't do anything? Oh, and goes to Donu's house, but doesn't attack there either. Come on, guys. I've dealt with Argus for long enough to know. This isn't Argus. This is bullshit. <laughs> so it could be somebody just using the whole Argus thing? Maybe Argus is working with somebody? Maybe Argus is controlled by somebody. I don't know. Uh, I think Lily's got a point. The rest can also be explained with good tech skills. Someone's playing with us under the guise of Argus. And this someone also killed Lewis. And they probably killed Mary too. That sounds very far-fetched. Damn it, you could be right. I mean, yeah, I get Because Lewis was not missing his eyes. They were not burned out. One of them was not... You know, two of them weren't it. it I kind of get the feeling it's almost like there's somebody and then Argus is also there. But I'm I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. I'm just going to go with, damn it, you could be right. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe we are just working ourselves up into it and just seeing signs that we think are there that aren't really. So the question remains, why was Lewis murdered and what do we have to do with it? Okay, there must also be connection to Sarah. The perpetrator could be an Argus fanatic. I still can't get my head around the fact that you want to steer us away from Argus. I, there has to be a connection with Sarah, too. Mm -hmm. You know, with this. Because of, you know, Lewis, he, he knew Sarah. And then now, all of a sudden, Lewis has turned up. Oh, we've got a new love writer. Oh, two. Three. Ten. Okay, that's that's weird. That's weird and creepy. Somebody's trying to love bomb me, and that's not a good thing. Okay, so yeah, everything could be connected is what Lily said. All right, so let's go ahead and exit out of here. Although it still says, it still says there's one. Am I supposed to say something to him? Let's check really quick before I head over to the love right here. Maybe I'm supposed to... say something it's a little little laggy okay nothing nothing's coming up so we'll just we'll head over to maybe it's like one of those things we go to love radar and then we come back Ugh, argus stop being jealous Ugh, i knew you loved me argus i knew it i was hoping it was bosty but it was Argus, and it mentioned something about my eyes, I believe, is what it was. There's, it says I have one chat. Yeah, offline. Nothing's coming up, though. Okay, so let's go back. That's probably why the girls' chat was still open up, so... Yep, there we go. Okay, so something just happened again. Argus is big with tech as well. Yeah, so your your eyesight to the all seen one. Okay, so uh, what the fuck? What's going on? Suddenly I received some message from Argus and the next moment they were gone. Mm. Freaking hell. Someone is trying to scare you to death. But why you? Yeah, it was, it's you, isn't it, Lily? I mean, you didn't know Sarah, nor did you know about Argus. You mean someone is doing these things on my phone? I also want to finally know what I have to do with it. Whoever or whatever it is, it scares me. Yeah, I mean, I want to know. Like, why why me? I think it's because I'm using Love Radar. I think that's Argus's playground. Wait. Sarah used Love Radar before her death. 
Lewis, as we know, too. Yeah, but what about everybody else on there, though? And now you're getting scary uh, messages on that app, Azrael. Just a coincidence? Shit, you're right, sis. That's somebody that hates love. That gives me an idea. Huh? Hang on, I'll come over to your place. We'll be in touch, Azrael. Wait, weren't they together? <laughs> At least tell me what it's about. Okay, talk soon. Can't wait to find out your plan. Okay, so, you know, do what you need to do. We'll talk later. But first. For now, we'll keep our theories about Argus to ourselves. Not a word to the others. Okay, why? Well, well now, I, I would like to know why. Why are we not... I mean, if you don't think it's Argus, you mean you kind of side with Betty's way of thinking, so why aren't you sharing it? They think I'm crazy already. I don't want to unsettle them by claiming that it's not Argus after all. We'll tell them once we know for sure. Okay. All right. So we got behind the legend. So good news. Oh yeah, that's he's got that um the lady that we can talk to. I think it was a, a woman um who does like research and stuff like that. Was that what she was like an ar ar archaeologist or something? I can't remember exactly what she was, but it was somebody he was going to talk to and we were allowed to join in on it. I'm ready to keep my end of the deal. Wait a sec. Okay, so Okay, godly whispers. Hello again. Here's the group chat. Sorry if this is a bad time. What's this about again? I have some information for you too. So we have some information for him as well. Great. Let's get back to that later. Remember I mentioned that I could set up a conversation with a researcher? She has time now. Alright, we'll bring her in. Because who knows how much time we've got. Uh, her name is Professor Fontaine. She's a professor of classical uh, philo philology, right? <laughs> she deals with ancient texts, primarily in Latin and ancient Greek. Her area of expertise are texts with a mythological background. Okay, sounds really interesting, kind of boring, and that could help us. I mean, sounds interesting to me. I'm always, uh, I was always big into uh, mythology. I think so too. I'll add her. Hang on. Okay, so Professor Fontaine was added to the group. Hello, everybody. You're writing a research paper on Argus, is that right? Yes, I also run a YouTube channel, but research is my uh, priority. Okay, so let's look at Professor Fontaine. I like her hair. I used to put red like that in my hair. Oh, puppy. Aww. She looks really familiar. I can't place her. Okay, so which area of research? That's correct. Nice to meet you, Professor Fontaine. Mm. Likewise. We want to write about the mythology behind Argus. Not about all the nonsense on social media. Interesting. Although I have to say the title of this group is rather pathetic. I'll take the blame for that. Pure observation, no judgment. Let me start with a piece of uh, advice. For the duration of this conversation, try not to think of Argus as an internet legend. The stories about Argus are old, ancient, they date back to a time when people were not even able to print books. Okay, so what year are you talking about? If there were no books, how do you know so much about it? Can you 
please get to the point. So let's say what year are you talking about? Because I know that mm-hmm. um, usually it was oral history. Things were passed down orally. And then they would write on uh, like papyruses and, you know, stuff like that. And that's how we, we have notes. Because we didn't have a printing press back then. So somebody had to handwrite all that stuff. Okay, so the oldest finds are over 10,000 years old. When people were still when people still painted on cave walls... Oh, is that Argus? He looks so cute. I don't know why. With the big head and the tiny body. Hmm. I know somebody with that description. But this is not the period I'm dealing with. My expertise relates to texts that are around 2,000 to 2,500 years old. In other words, the time of Romans and ancient Greece. At this time, writings were recorded on papyrus scrolls and wooden tablets. Most of them were lost over the centuries. However, some of them survived and found their way into today's books. That's very interesting. It's like history class, but what does all this have to do with Argus? I mean, I find it interesting. And we improved our score with her. Happy to hear that. I'm going back this far to get you away from your modern view of Argus. To get to the point, there are many texts that describe a certain being. Some call it a monster. Others refer to it as pure evil or as a deity. Okay, so we've got some text there. Can't read it. I think that's Latin. Okay, so loosely translated from Latin as, A god appeared to me in a dream. His eyes see everything. We must worship him and he will end all of our suffering. The next sentence has a sinister origin. Okay, more text we cannot read. We have to just trust the professor that she's actually telling us what it means. The first part is again Latin, and the second is Attic Greek, also known as Ancient Greek. Documented uh, finds say that in 400 BC, several bodies were found in a small village on the Greek Isle of Crete. This phrase was carved into the bodies in Ancient Greek. 500 years later, at the time of ancient Rome, bodies were found near what is now Genoa. The words were as carved into the the words were also carved into these bodies, this time in Latin. Both mean exactly the same thing. Take this sacrifice. May its eyes satisfy your insatiable hunger so that you will give us peace. Okay, so they sacrificed to to this creature Argus. Okay, so 500 years uh, difference and still the exact same phrase, that can only be a coincidence or say nothing. I mean, that's pretty interesting that 500 years in between, it's the exact same thing. Impressive, isn't it? What's your theory on this? One of my assumptions was that ancient traditions had found their way from Crete to Genoa. The farmers there were on the verge of starvation and sacrificed the weak. Exactly the same way they had read it in an old scroll. Sounds a bit far-fetched, don't you think? That's why it's just a theory. I would like to show you one more thing. After that, I suggest a phone call. With pleasure. Okay, so here we have another text. Uh-oh. Ugh, Argus. You know, now I don't want to answer because he's messing with my phone again. Hello? Hello? Professor Fontaine, I hope you can hear me okay? It's all working wonderfully. All right, perfect. Let's jump straight in. So Ooh. the phrase says, Oculus meis omnividente nuns pertinent. What exactly does that mean? What's the story behind it? And I'm sorry if I completely butchered that. <laughs> oh, thank you. That's very nice. I, yeah, I, I tried to study Latin in school. This sentence can be translated as my eyesight will be all the same. So just like this 
internet phenomenon. Yes, someone must have found out about it. You must know that I'm a woman of science, and I do not believe in such things. Of course. I look at it from a purely professional point of view. I probably speak for both of us when I say that we see it the same way you do. Very good. This phrase was found during the excavation of a small room. It was written all over the walls, and there were countless eyes painted on the walls. Okay. Hmm. Do you have any theories as to what this room was used for? Yes. There are numerous theories that... Hello? Uh oh, Hello? I think the professor froze. Professor Fontaine, can you still hear me? I think the connection just dropped. Let's switch back to the chat. Maybe she can at least text. I don't know, maybe it's these headphones. Hopefully. See you in a second. <clears throat> Why would it be the headphones? Precipitant. Uh, precipitant? I can't say that word. Precipitant has left the conversation. Participant. There we go. Wait. I think it's working, Tim. Um. What? Yeah, no, thank you, Professor. If that's your name, Professor Fontaine. Did you see that, Tim? Are you okay, Professor? What the? Okay, we're going to go with are you okay, Professor? You know, just because of the internet issue and stuff. We don't want her to think we're crazy, so. I mean, enough people already think that. Why shouldn't I be? My connection is just rather bad. I have recently moved house and the internet is still not stable. No problem at all. I was asking how Argus was honored. Various faces were also found in the room. My colleagues and I cannot prove this 100%, but we assume that there were human eyes in the faces. Hmm, interesting. I mean, that's something I wouldn't put in a vase. You know, you usually put other things in vases like flowers. I don't, I don't want human eyeballs in a vase. Oh, and there's one more thing. I only use the name Argus because it is currently very popular. Over the millennia, the creature has had countless names in many different cultures. Ooh. Premium chat option. Let's go. Can you tell us which ones? I can name a few if you're interested. There are some hieroglyphs in ancient Egypt for the word I and the word snake that were often used together. The pronunciation would be uh, Irtfint or Ifrint. I'm not going to pronounce any of these right. In Sumerian, one of the oldest written languages, there is a word Igugund. Ig in Hebrew, Ayan Chaha Chaya, or, and in the far north in Old Norse, Alga Skimersil? Skimersil? I probably butchered all of those. Uh, they all mean roughly the same thing and can be translated as eye monster, eye creature, eye snake. My personal opinion on the current name, absolutely terrible. Argus was actually an all-seeing giant in Greek mythology and not this creature. These are two completely different mythological entities. An absolutely unimaginative name. Oh, here we go, another premium chat option. I always thought the name of the game was was bad, too. The author should have tried harder. Very drastic opinion. So let's... We're picking the premium chat option, as usual. Oh. Well, well, well. The lady doesn't like the name, huh? <laughs> Why don't you come up with a better one, then? Sorry, come Tim. On. Go for it. Go for the first thing that comes to your mind. I don't know. Uh, maybe, like... Something like Smargus, Spargus, Spargus, <laughs> something like that. Come on, it's easy, right? Smorgos, Storgos, Forgos. Smorgos. Think of something. Schmiegel. You can do it. It's not that difficult. We authors have to do that all the time. We always have to function. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. I'm a bit stressed out. You can tell. I will see you in the chat in a minute. Yeah, I can definitely tell you're stressed, Tim. <laughs> it's not my fault. It's not my fault. You put that in there <laughs> and made me pick it. Okay, calm down, Tim. That's right. No reason to attack Azrael like that. Yeah, you tell him, Daniel. Yelling at me for no reason. You're right. 
Okay, so I was just making a joke. Yeah, what was that about? Um, who are you? Schmar <laughs> Schmargus is a great name. I have to pick that one because that is that is hilarious. Mm -hmm. I love Schmargus. Let's change the name of the game. <laughs> you think so? As I said, I'm a bit stressed at the moment. Stressed? Why? Is playing video games that exhausting? <laughs> Very funny. Think about it. It hasn't been any different for you lately. You just asked me the other day if I could look after Charlie for a few days. <laughs> because he annoyed you too much with his movie ideas. Oh, Charlie. I just needed a few days rest. Okay, so I'd love to have Charlie over. Who's Charlie? You're pretty mean. Like, who's Charlie? Who's picking that question? Charlie is our best friend. And we would love to have Charlie over and watch his, his movie. Maybe even help him make his movie. Stop. I'm not done yet. Kai also recently complained that the bunny from Orphans had trashed his apartment. And Daniel, I don't need to remind you that Serena has been trying to kill you for days. And my entire spam folder is full of emails from Dr. Crow. See the problem? Dang, man, they got a, they got a villain issue. Uh, that you simply ignore his emails? Exactly. What? No, of course not. The problem is that we have too many characters and they're messing with us. I love all the characters. I don't understand what's going on. You've got problems. I love all the characters. Mm. We do too. Do you have a solution, Tim? I'd be interested to know that too. I actually have two solutions. The first, we let someone do the work for us. Karsten, imagine you could go on a vacation for three weeks. And yet we still have awesome media in our games. How is that supposed to work? AI. Oh no, Tim, don't, no, let's not do AI. Here's an example. I mean, I just played a game recently where I complained about the AI and now you want to do it too? Oh, don't do it, Tim. What do you want to see, Azrael? Okay, so a seal in a hot air balloon, a cute cat with a sombrero and bow tie, a robot on safari, or a cool goat on a skateboard. You know I have to pick the cat with the sombrero and bow tie. Mm. Oh, oh, he's so cute. He's got a little bow tie and his little sombrero. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it so much. Adorable. Adorable. Awesome, right? So cool. I prefer your media. Say nothing. But I do prefer your media. I'm just going to say it, Tim. Oh, well, the media. Anyway, you haven't seen my absolute highlight yet. I fear the worst. Me too. Karsten, it's best to warn Kai in advance. Good idea. He's certainly not interested in this experiment. So... I've spent the last three months working with the smartest minds. Henry Fonts, Shadow, Hans, and Wolf. We've created something incredible. A machine that sets the timeline to zero and makes you forget everything. Nobody knows ex what exactly will happen when I start the machine. We might even forget about you, Azrael. Oh, excuse me? That's, that's offensive, Tim. You cannot forget about me. Very rude. 
but it's a risk we should take. Offended. Okay, he's gone completely insane, Karsten. No, I'm seeing clearly. Our author's chats have become more complex than our actual games. That's enough. Now, I'm curious. Daniel's right. Tim has lost his mind. I'm a bit scared. Uh, Daniel's right. Tim's, Tim's lost his mind. He's under too much stress. I still need your help, Azrael. We couldn't agree on a name for the machine. There are three options. One, Dimensional Universal Memory Mechanism Yo, or in short, Dummy. <laughs> Two, Ideal Dynamic Individual Oblivion Tool, in short, Idiot. Hmm, okay. Three, Functional Optimized Obscurity Launch. That's full. <laughs> in short, full. What should we call it? Hmm, dummy, idiot, or full? Um, I mean, the choices. Let's go with idiot. Uh oh. An excellent choice. I know, Daniel and Carsten are always a bit cautious about such things, but sometimes. You just have to have courage. Courage to do something potentially stupid, but it could also be incredibly clever, just like I am. And that's why so he's clever you and stupid? are going to join me as I launch the Ideal Dynamic Individual Oblivion Tool. Here we Oh no, don't go. do it. Tim, don't do oh it. Oh my god, okay, I pressed the button. Oh my god, I really did it. I, I really did it. Oh god. Five more seconds. Oh my god. Okay. See you on the other side! Oh no. I'm very concerned. Oh no, what did he do? Daniel on Skype. Yeah. We are working hard. Yeah. Charlie's Revenge. Reset to zero. Oh no, Tim, what did you do? <gasps> Charlie's online! Oh dear, what have they done this time? Charlie, it's our best friend! Do we not get to talk to him? Charlie. Oh, behind the legends. Okay, we're going back to that. In any case, we thank you for your time, Professor. You helped us a lot. You're welcome. Please get in touch if you have any further questions. Thanks for me, too. We'll definitely come back to that and say nothing. Okay, so thanks for me, too. So we're back in the Cinnamombies. Okay, BTL, Tim, and I just had the conversation with the researcher. Mm. We've got some interesting info that doesn't really help us or can't wait to hear what you think of it. So we, we did. We got some interesting info. Mm. It's in the chat history. Okay, Danu and Ben are online, Betty's online, Caro's online. I haven't finished yet. Don't you think she's just an attention seeker? I actually find the information very interesting. So there has always been an ancient deity. A deity that has been eating eyes for thousands of years. The internet legend of Argus arose from the oral traditions about this deity. And no, I don't think so. She seems down to earth. I see no reason why she should seek attention. I like her. She's a woman of science and doesn't believe in Argus. She seems suspicious to me. 
I mean, I liked her. She, other than the fact that Argus took over the conversation and made her look weird, um, which made that sus, um, I like her. Uh, mm -hmm. She knew what she was talking about. She gave us some good information to work with. That's not enough to be credible. Shut up, Ben. Nobody asked you. <laughs> we should believe her until we find a reason not to. If the thing that killed Sarah really is a deity, then we can't stop it. Then we're all as good as dead. Stop. I have to set something straight. Yes, I think this professor is serious and I share her opinion. There's no deity that kills young women disguised as, inter as an internet phenomenon. For me, that rather means... We're dealing with a serial killer who knows a lot about mythology. Someone who had exactly this information and became fanatical about it. I'm beginning to wonder what's real and what isn't, but what was that thing in uh, Daniel's apartment? That seems to make sense. I mean, yeah, it makes sense. But what was in Danu's apartment? You gonna explain that one? It's you can't you can't explain it with the serial killer because the serial killer doesn't growl at people and look like a big massive creature on four legs. A few effects in a scary costume that can be terrifying in a situation like ours. I've had enough time to think about everything again. We've uh, we've to try to find out as much as possible. Like we've. Probably we need to find out as much as possible about it. Is Argus real? If so, what exactly is this thing? Uh, a file's now ready for repair. And how can we stop it? Okay, so we've got another file that we need to repair. Didn't pop up, though. Oh, we can make a comment. Okay, so guys, there's another file ready to be fixed. Mm. Normally we don't tell them that we just fix it and then we tell them. How is that possible? So far the videos were in chronological order. So what else can come after the last video? Oh, good point. Exactly what I'm wondering, because the last video we saw, Sarah had been attacked, and so what is this one? With the help of Azrael, we'll find out in a moment. Oh, now you like me, do you, Dan? Mm? Sus. Alright, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end it there. When we come back, we're going to repair uh, the new file, and we're going to find out what this file is, because it's like they said... Sarah was attacked in the last one, so what could possibly be on this unless she got Argus on tape or she got her attacker on tape or something? I, I, you know, I don't know. Um, you know, leave me a comment down below uh, how you're enjoying the second chapter so far. I think it's really good. We've learned some more information about Argus, um, which uh, Alicia and, uh, well, Lily is now leaning that it's not a creature, it's a human. Uh, which is hilarious because she's been trying to pass off Argus this whole entire time, which seems sus to me. Lily, Lily's very sus because, it, you know, it's Argus all the way and that's like, oh, I don't think it's Argus now. So we're just going to have to wait and see in the next episode. Please leave me a like, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you next time. Bye.